Now let's discuss the character of Don Pedro. Now Don Pedro is one of Claudio's friends. Indeed, he helps Claudio woo Hero. However, he is also presented as very loyal to Claudio. He takes his side when there's the rumor and the belief that Hero is unfaithful towards him. Indeed, he joins in disgracing her. Of course, also we learn that Don Pedro, he ultimately understands the reasoning behind his own half brothers, basically, uh, or rather not half brother, his full brothers um, decision to cause the breakdown of Claudio and Hero's relationship. This is relating to Don John because he realizes that actually one when it's revealed that Don John came up with this whole uh, idea of slandering Hero just for the sake of breaking up the relationship, he understands his brother's nature of being a real villain, okay? So whilst on the one hand, we realize that Don Pedro is very loyal and very close to his friend Claudio, we also realize on the other hand that he sees his own brother, the one who is illegitimate, as also a villain. Now do bear in mind that Don Pedro is of nobility because he is the Prince of Aragon, okay? Now in terms of quotations, I've prepared key quotations to remember for his character, particularly if you're writing about him, either for coursework or exams. So let's get started. Now the first quotation to bear in mind with Don Pedro's character is, when of course we can see here he's a really good friend to Claudio, he basically tells him, Claudio, I've wooed in thy name and fair hero is one. In other words, here he's basically saying, Claudio, I know you're really in love with hero and uh, during the masked ball he woos her and of course this is when they get engaged okay now the word level analysis you want to do here is the alliteration of w in wooed and one and of course also the adjective fair to describe hero's beauty okay so here how don pedro is presented is being a very loyal friend and also somebody who really looks out for his friends both claudio and benedict the other quotation to bear in mind for his character is when he states, I will teach you how to humor your cousin that she will fall in love with Benedict. So here he is talking to Hero and he's basically saying, look, I know that your cousin is very hard hearted. She's very headstrong, but I'll show you how we can trick her into falling in love with Benedict. Now, the word level analysis you want to do here is alliteration of age and how and humor and also the sibilance of she and shall. Okay, so here we can see that Don Pedro is also kind of scheming and here he's scheming, still being a good friend to his other friend Benedict because he's trying to see whether him and uh, Beatrice would be able to fall in love. So he's going to also play an important part in playing Cupid and bringing both Benedict and Beatrice together. The other quotation for his character is when he states, and this is once Hero is accused of infidelity, he states, as I wooed for thee to obtain her, I will join with thee to disgrace her. Now here he's basically telling Claudio, I am on your side no matter what, and just like the way you're going to basically denounce uh, Hero, I will also denounce her too, okay? Now, the word love analysis you want to do here is the repetition of I, okay? So here he's really, it's showing kind of this loyalty and this allegiance he has to his friend Claudio. But also, you want to focus on the alliteration of W in wooed, will, and with, okay? So of course here, what he's basically saying is he's going to join in on the slander of Hero. Of course, we as the audience think that that's probably a little bit unfair, but at the time, this was seen as something really terrible if a woman basically cuckolded, cheated on her man. So of course here, he's really standing by his friend Claudio. The final quotation to bear in mind for, with this character when he realizes that Hero has been innocent this whole time and it's actually his brother, Don John, who was causing all the mischief, he realizes that he is a treacherous villain and he states he is composed and framed of treachery, okay? And this declarative sentence is him basically stating, yep, I understand my brother Don John is actually a very bad guy and I understand that now I can see why he would do this because he's just basically a very treacherous and dishonest person. And do bear in mind that declarative sentence is a sentence that states a fact, feeling or mood. So here he's basically stating as if it were fact that Don John is actually just a villain so it all makes sense that he would create all of these lies and fabricate these ideas of hero purely just to cause chaos okay so that's it when it comes to understanding and writing about don pedro's character and of course these are the main quotations i would suggest to consider when revising for his character either for your coursework or exams thank you so much for listening